Those who were with the chief executive to attend the World Economic Forum can attest to how well he conducted himself and clearly got the message across to all attendees and potentially attracted investors due to his eloquence and ability to talk business quite clearly. Mela Les Moras has more. Former President and now House Senior Deputy Speaker Gloria Macapagal Arroyo commended the efforts of President Ferdinand R. Marcos Jr. in his participation at the World Economic Forum in Davos, Switzerland. He is Western educated, at intelligent, at articulate. Siya. To put it in English, he speaks their language. Alam ng Pangulo na sa pag-uunlad ng ating bansa, napaka-importante ang uh, pagsasama ng gobyerno at ng pribadong sektor. As part of the Philippine delegation at the WEF herself, Arroyo also said that when it comes to the country's economic plans and programs, the Philippines gained positive reactions from the business and political leaders that they have met. Unang-una, positive reaction nila to course sa ating COVID response. At ikalawa naman, kinikilala nila na mahusay ang pangangasiwa ng Pilipinas. Uh, in fact, uh, historically, magandang track record ng ating bansa na magagaling ang mga economic managers kung sino pa man ang Pangulo. So, ibig sabihin nun, stable ang pagpalakad ng ating ekonomiya. For his part, House Speaker Martin Romualdez, who is also part of the Philippine delegation in Davos, said the chief executive was able to clearly convey his strategies in the global stage and the swift passage of the Maharlika Investment Fund Bill at the House of Representatives enabled the president and his delegation to take advantage of the enormous opportunity it can bring. Next week, the Congress is set to resume session and the House Speaker said they will work for the speedy passage of measures to ramp up digitalization that President Marcos highlighted in the WEF as a key component in sustaining the country's growth momentum. Apart from this, they will also push for the passage of the remaining priority bills of the administration which include the following measures on energy, health and employment. Melales Moras for the Nation.